Welcome to another short devotional for Morristown Baptist Church and also Black Rock Baptist Church. We've been focusing on the topic of envy this week, and uh, this morning I want to focus on Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, and ask, do you trust God? One of the signs that envy is in your heart and needs to be eliminated is that you constantly use the phrase, it's not fair. You know what that phrase sounds like. It's not fair that he gets to do that and I don't get to do it. It's not fair that it's easy for her and it's not easy for me. It's not fair that their kids get the award and mine didn't. It's not fair that they can afford that vacation and and I can't. Envy is actually a battle with God. You're in a fight with God every time you envy. When you envy, you're saying, God, you blew it. You didn't, you didn't do it right. You didn't have brains enough to make me the way I ought to be. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have made me like this. You would have made me like somebody else. And God says, what? If I didn't make you, you, you wouldn't exist. The problem is this. When you envy, you don't trust God. You don't believe that he has your best interests at heart. You don't believe that he knows more than you do, and he knows what's best for you. You don't have some things in life because God knows a reason that you shouldn't have them. There are some talents God did not give you. There are some opportunities God does not give to you. And there are some experiences in life that you don't get. You can either shake your fist in anger or you can trust God. God is smarter than you and he knows better. Hear that again. He knows better. He's smarter than you. God has given each of us a race to run. You can't run somebody else's race, and no one can run your race. You can either run the race that God has given you, or you can make up your own race. And most people choose to make up their own race in life, and they wonder why they hit dead ends. Instead, God wants you to run the race that he has for you. He custom designed a plan for your life. When you focus on God's race, you won't need to worry about the race that anybody else is running. You won't be bothered by the crowds that are cheering or jeering in the stands. You're living for an audience of one, God. God is your audience. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, let us run with patience the particular race that God has set before us. The more you understand your call from God, the less you'll be worried about what God has called other people to do. And you'll focus on what he has called you to do. Any time spent envying other people is time wasted. Just be who God made you to be. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Let's continue to exchange prayers daily.